Hello and welcome to my channel, Intuitive Envisions 1111. Thank you guys so much for liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. I really appreciate it. This is going to be a general reading for the collective, Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine, Soulmates, Twin Flames, um, of what someone really needs to hear right now. So this would be like an urgent uh, message, okay? So since this is general, it's not going to resonate with everyone out there. So if it... Uh, you find yourself with more questions and answers. Don't try to make it fit or, you know, or take what parts that, you know, do fit for your situation. Um, I do offer personal readings. So if you're interested in booking one of those with me, that information is going to be below in the description, as well as all these decks I'll be using here. Uh, most of the items you see, including the jellyfish lamp, um, and which are not real. My Instagram information, and if you want to support the channel, uh, that information is going to be below. So, thank uh, extra special thank you to you guys that have book readings and uh, order my cards and uh, sent in donations. I really appreciate it. And okay, so for those of you new just tuning in, welcome. Um, I'm going to take this time to just uh, go ahead and remind that I'll be doing a live for the first time on May 6th. I haven't really uh, decided on what time I might just go with the flow or my schedule time. We'll see. <laughs> and, um, what else did I want to say? I think that's pretty much it. Okay. For right now. Okay. All right. So I do shuffle these cards prior to coming on, but I do like for you guys to see, uh, cause most people like to see the card shuffled. So I go by what, you know, majority uh, wants and what I feel comfortable with doing. So, Anyway, just to let you see how a spirit works their magic. And um, I think that's pretty much everything I want to say. Um, this is my uh, Intuitive Envisions 1111 Twin Flame Messages. This is available for pre-order. That's also uh, below for United States uh, buyers. Um, uh, can purchase from my site. And I, I do have Etsy, Etsy shop too as well. If you're international, um, my email is below. Uh, and I will send you a link. Okay. So I also just want to let you guys know, I know I'm taking a little longer than I normally do, but I get a lot of emails and I'm not able to respond to all the emails. I really can only respond to the emails that have to do with uh, um, the readings on the site because I do all my comments on YouTube and uh, Instagram and stuff. Okay. So I have to like manage my time. So um, just leave a comment in on YouTube or uh, Instagram. That's the best way to get me to reply. Uh, as long as it's, you know, <laughs> you know, respectful, not cursing somebody out or, you know, in that kind of area. I, those I don't respond to and possibly even delete. All right. I'm done with my rambling. So let me just go ahead and get started. <laughs> What's the energy coming in uh, surrounding uh, you or your person or soulmate or whoever this is a message that someone really needs to hear right now so this is the wisdom of the house of night so the energy is surrounding confidence okay so confidence is you know pretty self-explanatory you're you're needing to uh either you're needing to be in this energy or your confidence is something that is being highlighted at this time okay so um I'm going to go ahead and get the quick message from the book because that's what I do. <laughs> and because um, sometimes it has additional messages. All right. Let's open this. And. Okay. Encourage to live forever. I, a few of my chosen ones um, who have the confidence and courage to live uh, forever. There is one such immortal being who has kept this oracle safe in a castle in the Isle of Sky to be given to you when the time is right. This time is now. This is your time. The world needs you. Much is going to be asked of you as you move through your life's challenges and receive my gifts. Know that I have chosen you and that you have everything you need to make the right decision. Walk with your head held high and take the next step towards your goal with confidence. I will be with you every step of the way. Wow, that's pretty powerful. Okay, so that's saying that you are important in this world. You have a, a, a special place in this world and you are about to receive additional gifts that spirit 
basically wants you to um, accept and receive and use them well. You know, um, this confident, have confidence about your purpose or whatever uh, path you're on and your choices that you're making. You know, have the confidence. Uh, that's the energy that I'm getting. So we have 42, which is six, which is um, a card of uh, or number of balance. So this is the wisdom of the oracle. And we have TikTok. And look at that. There's hands. And remember in that when I was talking about it, it was saying now is the time. Okay. So with these hands, there's something that you're going to be receiving. So you have number 30, which I associate threes with prayers answered. And then uh, some I've learned associated with self mastery. Okay. So there's something being given to you. Um, it looks like right here with the time. Um, and let me just go ahead and quickly look at I'm not going to read the whole thing. I'm just going to see if it has any additional stuff in here because that first one surely did. It says timeless, divine timing, immeasurable time. So this has something to do with the timing right now. Have confidence about uh, basically what I'm getting is have confidence about that. Now is the time. Now is the time for you to receive. Now is the time for you to uh, give as well. But I feel like there's some have some confidence about things working out the way that they're supposed to. Like you're you're going to you're being given some type of gift, some gift of time is what I'm getting. OK, so let's see what's the main focus. This is the Kipper cards of what this could be surrounding. Wow. Courtship. Number four. This is dating. OK, this is also meetings. But as you see, there's two people in here. So most likely if this is something that you're wanting, you're wanting to uh, date or uh, return back to dating or some, you know, energy around that. Four is also about foundations. This is the focus on this. You are have confidence that this is going to happen for you. OK, that you are going to be given some type of gift when it comes to this courtship. So for some of you it could be a meeting. OK, uh, some something, a timing, have the confidence that this is going to take place. All right. So let's go ahead and get some additional energies. This is the Moonchild Tarot. I'm going to get three energies for what someone needs to hear right now. So we have the Six of Swords. So Six of Swords is a card of leaving troubled times behind and those rocky waters and move forward into a calmer uh, waters. OK, so there's some kind of movement forward. I have confidence about it that now is the time maybe you worried about it when it comes to dating there's some energy um with dating or a meeting uh you know a meeting that's uh to take place um is um going forward and leaving the trouble times behind if you see the lights flickering a lot it's because i got the fan on in here it's starting to get hot in vegas all of a sudden it's been 66 degrees consistently that number has been popping up and then all of a sudden today it's like 86 <laughs> king of swords okay so king of swords is a leader in communication and in all things mental this is someone that's a logical thinker um this could be about um some communication could be coming in or someone could be thinking about that is it's time to communicate. Um, he's also, this is a serious person. So uh, this is masculine energy, swords, uh, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius doesn't have to be, but it could just be somebody that is in this, you know, um, this is their type of personality. They're very serious. They make decisions based on logic and not with their heart. Okay. So there's a lot of sword energy already, a lot of mental um, air energy coming out. And we have the lovers. Wow. OK, right under courtship. So this is the sign of Gemini. So this is about that ultimate love, that passion. And then again, we have another um, number six. 
Okay, so there's three sixes here. The more the numbers, uh, you know, repeat it, the higher the vibration for it. Okay, so there is some need for balance or there's a balance coming in when it comes to do with something love, something passionate, something that you're wanting. Have confidence. It's basically like you're going to be given a gift when it comes to the situation. So it's like basically take this gift that is coming your way. Be open to receiving this gift of time. Possibly some type of communication or some some something that might be learned uh, in this process or uh, something soon. Okay. Surrounding possibly a love relationship. This also could be associated, you know, with twin flame uh, energy. But this could also, you know, just be a very passionate, romantic uh, relationship. So let's see what this has to do with. Why is the Six of Swords here? What are we moving forward to? Why is the Six of Swords here? Change. Change is coming, a major change. Have confidence. Someone might even be actually physically moving from a house or a residence or apartment. Someone might be um, traveling. But there's um, with this move moving forward energy, I do feel like there's a major uh, change, some kind of movement. There's definitely a movement energy here. And you have nine here, which is, you know, nearing the completion of a cycle. So there's something being moved forward here. Have confidence about it, that things are moving forward. Also, I'm picking up some of you could be given this gift of time, of divine timing, that this is a gift that you are, you know, maybe there was a, a pre prevention from going forward. There's a, could be a gift in that um, as well. As an additional uh, message. Okay, tell me why is the King of Swords here? Toil and labor, number 38, which is 11. So this is about taking a risk. It also can be about doing something risky that you just don't want to do. So someone is possibly thinking about doing something uh, taking a risk basically or they could be thinking about doing something they don't want to do which could be a change um, as well so we'll see uh, why that toil and labor is here okay tell me why the lovers is here journey so journey is about taking a trip okay um, so there's this change. There's a journey. I, f I feel there's some a movement. There's definitely movement forward. There's some traveling involved here. Journey can mean either someone is leaving, someone is returning, or someone is planning on returning. Okay. So what, however it replies in your situation, someone can be uh, possibly uh, returning with this courtship here in this meeting this foundation there could be an end to the old energy and uh, welcoming in a new beginning because we do have nine and we have ten so that does show a progression here again movement movement forward movement forward when it comes to the timing is what i'm getting and just keep seeing those hands reaching out there and that was mentioned in that confidence that you're about to receive a gift a gift of time, a gift of divine timing, or a gift from the divine. Tell me more about this uh, change. Why is this change here? Guide. So someone is being guided to make this change. Guided to move forward. So it's like being in the dark and you have this light, you have this guiding light guiding you to make this change, to make this major change. Have confidence and move forward. Or have confidence that things are moving forward. You're, you're receiving a gift when it comes to this courtship, this or dating or this meeting uh, with a person that you have 
uh, romantic ties to or will have romantic ties to for some of you that this could be someone new uh, coming your way tell me why this total labor is here numbing okay so someone could be like numbing this energy taking a risk and numbing this serious energy or uh you know um yeah being in this harsh type of energy they could be thinking about numbing this or some of you could be thinking about numbing uh, thinking so much or numbing uh someone that has these traits but someone is thinking about taking a risk and numbing something or numbing this energy of this harsh, uh, maybe cut off type of energy. All right. Tell me about this journey. Where does this journey lead to? Okay, sorry. I had to pick it up. Hold on just a second. Okay. Signs. This journey leads to signs. <laughs> okay. So someone is taking a trip. They're getting signs to take a trip. That's what I'm getting. They're getting some type of signs to follow the signs. They're being guided to make this change. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. Someone's being guided here. Someone is being guided either to leave a situation return to a situation but nevertheless some movement some traveling this could actually physically be um you know a motor vehicle with this train and this change here with this car but somebody is being guided by their signs that's what i'm getting they're getting they're being guided by their signs of this this love relationship they're being guided to go in and Go towards this is what I'm getting. Because remember the focus is this. The courtship. Alright. So let's get some more information here. So these are my twin flame messages. Tell me more about this change in this guide. Under the six of swords. You made me want to become a better person. So this can be, you know, the person you're thinking of, or this could be uh, your energy. Someone, whatever trouble that they went through, this, you have made them want to become a better person. It caused a major change in them, it possibly made them have the confidence to go after what they really want. Um, confidence possibly to leave a, a a place here because you know what i'm thinking here is this change here there's someone you know they're packing up their stuff and then they're getting on this journey they're leaving okay so someone is leaving a situation um because of the connection that you have with them that made them want to become a, a better person so they're wanting to leave any type of trouble times uh behind and they're be being guided uh, from this connection they're being guided also from the divine is what i'm getting all right so tell me more about this uh toiling labor and this numbing what is this numbing here with this uh king of swords i'm getting the help that i need so i feel like someone is taking a risk you know, to stop being in this energy of trying to numb things, trying to be in this king of swords energy of being so logical. And they're they're taking a risk to get some type of help uh, towards this behavior. They might be getting help from um, the divine or they could be getting help from another person. But nevertheless, they're getting their help that they need. They may not even want to do it. Okay, it could be. Not, or they didn't want to do it, but now they're, I feel like they're being guided to do this. Possibly even speak the truth about why they've been numbing, why they've been in this energy, or why they haven't talked, you know, haven't uh, had communication. Okay, tell me more about this lovers and this journey. 
Why is this science here? What does this have to do with? I'm planning to contact you. There you go. This came up earlier in one of the, or today's reading I did earlier. This is their planning. They're getting signs. And you might even be getting signs too that they're planning to contact you. You might start to receive signs, a gift from the divine. Possibly that this is going to go forward. But someone is planning to contact you or you're getting signs that they're planning to contact you. So this is the Island Time Wellness. I'm just going to clarify these sections. Tell me more about this. What someone needs to hear right now when it comes to the Six of Swords. Change. Guide and you make me want to be a better person. Coffee cup. Meeting. See, this is about meeting. Some of you guys will be meeting or talking about meeting. Meeting and conversing. Savoring the moment. Feeling uplifted. Friendship. Okay? Some of you, you could be meeting up with a friend, a lost friend. Or somebody that you had odds with as well. Somebody that you love and care for. Because the lovers can be about, you know, someone you have passion for. I feel like most of you, this has to do with a, a love romance relationship. But someone is moving forward. They're, they're wanting to change this. So some conversations is going to take place some type of gift is going to be given tell me more about the king of swords 12 and labor numbing and i'm getting the help that i need coffin endings bring new beginnings growth change liberation transformation yeah see that's what i'm getting someone is getting out of this energy of being in this king of swords energy being harsh being tough and uh cold they're putting it into that okay they're ending that and it's a, a new beginning ending this energy numbing that sharp uh energy okay tell me more about the lovers the journey signs and i'm planning to contact you I have to do that again because it snatched it back out my hand. <laughs> That's what I call it. Spirit snatches the cards back out my hand. The butterfly. Relationship evolving in the next phase. Healing the inner child growth. Wow. Wow. I said wow. It was like I made of two words. Wow and wow at the same time. Okay. Anyway, the point is this is going into a new phase. Okay. There's going to be an end to this energy that someone is in, a transitioning out of this numbing and um, not, you know, uh, wanting to uh, communicate or being harsh. Someone is, someone is getting the help that they need. You are going to be receiving um, some type of gift when it comes to timing. Um, TikTok. <laughs> this is what I see. I just those hands. It's like big hands coming out of the sky when it comes to courtship, when it comes to dating. So some of you, it could be a new relationship, but others of you, this could be someone you already have a tie to. Because it says this relationship evolving into the next phase, healing the inner child. So someone is wanting to heal that. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and see what's on the bottom of these cards. So we have the moon. So the moon is about things um, being hidden. You know, it's also about intuition. It's feminine energy. It's about things coming out, needing to come to the surface. Okay. Illuminating things. That's what I'm getting. Like something is going to be illuminated. Okay. You have number 50, which five is about change. And then on the bottom here, you have chop wood. I don't know what this one is about. I'm going to have to kind of glance really fast with this one. These cards are like my newest uh, newest addition to my... I don't um, have all the stuff memorized, the basic meanings. Chop wood, that's interesting. But it is another number six, by the way, I just noticed. And this is 42. So this 42, 42 could be significant 
or just the number 42. Maybe this is someone's age or this, this number is some significant to someone out there. Okay, so let me go ahead and see what this chop wood basic message is about. Being grounded in everyday exper experience, humility. There's times when the big dream is meant to be dormant in your conscience so that you can pay attention to the simple chores in your life. Consider um, why pruning a tree is the forerunner, forerunner of delighting in the beautiful, beautiful blossoms when it's in full blossom. I feel like it has to do something to do with the spring. Um, I'm not going to read all of it, but um, spring is where we're at right now in the United States. So this is a uh, present energy. So I'm, I'm feeling like a cleanup too with this broom, like something is being that needs to be cleaned up, like with that six of sword energy, leaving something in the past and bringing something out in the light, something that's been swept away is kind of what I'm getting from this, this energy. So let me go ahead and get the other cards. Nostalgia. This is that, that fond memories of the past. So this could be that returning energy where somebody is returning or somebody could be wanting someone to return. But I, I feel like this is about an illumination on this, this energy. And we have thief here. This is another six. Okay. So thief is not always about someone stealing. That's the main energy, but it, it also can be about a recovery, you know, returning something. So this could be um, also moving forward from a past loss, like getting past it is what I'm, I'm getting with that Six of Swords energy. This could be something that could be being talked about from somebody that um, you feel a loss uh, with or they feel a loss with you. We have, I never felt this happy with anyone the way I feel with you. So this is something that, you know, maybe they've been um, keeping to themselves with that moon energy. This is something that also might be coming out um, to the surface, being illuminated. And I get two more cards. Look at that, the emperor. So this is divine masculine energy. Okay, so this could be him. This could be him that's getting the confidence to come forward and have a conversation and take this relationship into the next phase. And so some of you, this could be about just taking control, okay, of your own destiny, having the confidence um, to go forward with, you know, dating if some of you are going towards something new, um, if it's not the divine masculine. Because this is about uh, taking control, being in charge, rules. But we do have a, a lot of masculine energy here. Okay. And then this one last card. Separation. Sadness. Missing you. Thinking about you. Yearning. Unsure of future. So someone could be taking control of this situation. Of the separation between the two of you. Um, maybe they're finally getting the confidence to come forward. To return. To put this. Uh, relationship into the new phase that they're getting signs or you're going to receive signs or you're getting signs that this relationship is going to involve into the the next phase that's what i'm getting all right you guys that's what i have for you so i hope that resonated with you if it did please like comment or share if you're new to the channel please subscribe again i do offer personal readings so if you're interested in booking one of those with me that information is going to be below in the description the link as well as all the decks I've used here, including my deck um, that's available and most of the items you see. So I want to thank each and every one of you for watching. Have a good day or night, whatever it is, wherever you are. Until next time, next video, peace, love, and light.